So you can probably tell that I like to have lots of like little knickknacks everywhere. I really like to like put any kind of like natural things everywhere around my room and it really gives me a lot of inspiration while I'm drawing and like just having natural forms around me makes me very feel a lot more calm especially like plants I love having my fish here because he's always just like swimming around and I don't know if you guys have ever noticed how soothing it is to just watch fish like if I'm feeling stressed out I will just watch my fish for you know five minutes and it just, it's just so calming it's great so yeah I have some crystals and gems right here and my air um, what's it called humidifier thingy I um, I really like it <clears throat> I need to clean it out this is one of my hats I don't wear it that often but I just really like the way it looks and then my friend made me this fern wreath that I put around it this is a print from uh, Kevin Russ, who's my favorite, probably my favorite photographer. I'm not too familiar with photographers, but as far as photographers go, he is my favorite. Um, I this like I'm trying to convert my color scheme in here to green and black. Um, yeah, here's my bulletin board of things, some photos, and these are some things I'm working on. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, here in my, I like having these little lights. Up here is kind of my Lord of the Rings shrine. <laughs> I have a Hadafang, the sword, my Aragorn and Brago figurine, and then I have this awesome parchment map of Middle Earth that is super just inspiring to look up at. These are some just dried plants I have. Fireweed, rosemary, I don't know what the third one is. I just found it in my yard. Uh, I like keeping, I like having instruments around. Uh, if I have like a lull in my work time, I'll just grab one and just like play on it. Helps me relax, helps me stretch my hands. I've got a kalimba here, mandolin, and uh, oh, that's a necklace. I thought that was my flute. I have a flute somewhere. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I have like stuff in my throat. Sorry guys. Okay, so this is my record player. I use it once in a while. I, I like putting it on when I'm just like trying to relax. Uh, I have some coasters and stuff on it. This is where I keep my laptop. And uh, I want to do a review. I just, I got this a few months ago. Um, Surface Pro 4. And I'm going to be doing an artist's review of that very soon. I like keeping some very inspiring books nearby. So if I want to take a break, I just grab one of these babies. John James Audubon, The Birds of America. This book goes on sale at Barnes & Noble for like 20 bucks every year around Christmas time. I highly recommend grabbing that thing. Because, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. And there's just full page prints in here. I'll grab it. It's so heavy. Just like tons and tons of beautiful prints with beautiful bright colors. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I especially love the Birds of Prey. Woodpeckers. Okay. That's that. Um, yeah, and I have some photography books, which are really good to have since I draw a lot of animals. Uh, the Q Book of Botanical Illustration, Animal Anatomy. I have some more nerdy books down here. Uh, here's another one of my favorite artists, Ray Troll. Um, he draws a lot of fish and he, uh, it's just beautiful. Some of his stuff is like very serious and beautiful. Some of it is just like super funny. And uh, I highly recommend this book, really good. Okay, um, I also have some Star Wars art books, How to Treat Your Dragon, and then some other random art instructional books that people have gotten me that I haven't found a lot of use from, but probably good just to have around. Oh, uh, down here is just a mess. I have some old journals, some reference books, and then this is just a lot of stuff. <laughs> uh, my ukulele's in there. Uh... 
I like to keep some stuff here, some dried flowers, some dried butterflies. These are my grandma's sume brushes that are beautiful and uh, I'll use them with watercolor once in a while but I don't want to wear them out. I have a bow, a lantern. Alright, so uh, this is my Himalayan crystal salt lamp that I really like. It's supposed to like purify the air, like ionize the air when it heats up. So that's pretty cool. I like my little bottles and cans. This is my favorite wine bottle ever. It's Girl and Dragon. It's got this really cool illustration of a girl. And then there's a dragon like in the black part. Super cool. Um, yeah, this is a little like Swedish dish towel that I stole from my mom. <laughs> This is my grandpa's old camera. Um, my, I found it at my aunt's house and she said I could have it. It's like the camera my grandpa used for like all their family photos when they were growing up. And I was like, yeah, I have to have that. And it still works. I put film in it, but um, all the settings are manual. So I have to kind of figure out how to do that without breaking it. <laughs> uh, this is a Sumi brush like holder. I use it sometimes with watercolor. You like rest your brush on there. This is a, ooh, it's dusty, sorry guys. <laughs> this is a sockeye salmon lower jaw that I got in Alaska. I found in Alaska. Uh, here's a little fish pin from my friend. Here's a bunch of stuff I got from my natural science illustration class. Um, we got to take home a lot of cool like skulls and stuff to illustrate. This is a chicken skull, muskrat skull. Some of the pine cones I found, some were given to me. There's a beetle. There's Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is, uh, this is all something I like to show people. It's my, um, I did this in one of my fish labs. It's a cleared and stained hatchet fish. They're super cool, there we go. So it's a process that turns all the bones red and the cartilage blue, and it, makes an amazing result so that's that this is a horseshoe crab I also got from scientific illustration there's a pot uh, these are just other things I've found on the beach and at zoos and other places I have a mouse skull in here from when I dissected an owl pellet focus um, here's some lichen the rock from a uh, lava field yeah, those are my, that's my little treasure shelf. Um, I like having that nearby so I can just look up at it and kind of be inspired by some of the things in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh, my throat. Okay, so that's my closet. Uh, it's not a huge closet, but works for me. My bird is under there. Um, he's really loud, so I covered him for this video. I have a bunch of hanging pots and terrariums here. Uh, I really, I kind of am inside the air plant fad, so yeah, I'm a sucker. But I love this tone of green that these plants have. And here's some uh, Spanish moss that I got. The macrame pot that has fallen and spilled dirt everywhere <laughs> before. Um, here's my bed where sometimes I'll just sit on my bed and draw if I'm like drawing out of my pad. Yeah, and then I showed you this part. This is the bottom shelf of my bookshelf. This is where I keep my comics and stuff. And as we move up, we got my dog mushing books and some other of my favorite books that I like to reread. And then behind them are a bunch of books as well. And then I just keep all of these books because I either haven't read them yet or I want to, they're books that I reread all the time. So <clears throat> those are the only ones I keep. Uh, I keep some of my movies here behind Bilbo. Uh, my favorite movies that I rewatch all the time. My Lord of the Rings books, some other reference books and nature books right there. Oh, and here's my other fish tank. It's a five gallon fish tank. I've got a couple guppies and a few Daniels in there. And uh, they're my little dancers. I love watching them. And they like, 
they like to zoom around. They're super fun. I'm like getting distracted now. This is where I keep all my fish food for them. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is my old beta, Jasper. He's hiding back there. Um, I've had him for a super long time. I can't believe he's still alive, but he's a good, he's a good boy. Um, some CDs. I have a lot of CDs. I keep the CDs of my favorite artists because I have a hard time applying value to things that are digital. So when there's something tangible, I put a lot more value on it. And I really appreciate that about CDs and records too. I have some of my favorite records. Um, yeah, I... That's just how my brain works. That's why I don't have Spotify. <laughs> okay, so here's some of my favorite books that I reference. Um, and also, probably my prettiest books. Uh, I have some figurines around here that are really useful, actually, for, like, lighting. Sometimes I'll, like, if I'm drawing a person, I'll just, like, take Bilbo and, like, light him from different angles. And just use that as a general, like lighting reference for faces. It's pretty useful. Yeah. And it's fun to kind of just take some of these knickknacks and make a still life once in a while as an exercise. Yeah, I have some candles up here. A lot of the stuff, like the candles, I'll like put on my desk while I'm working sometimes. Up there I have even more stuff. This place is just crammed with stuff. Um, this is my uh, old, my mom's old record player, which I just think looks super cute. It's not, doesn't work very well. Uh, some of my flasks, a K for me, but the K is very problematic because it always falls. I have some more bottles up there, wine bottle that I keep my incense in. Some more figurines. I keep this uh, photo light thing of my friend's Polaroids. Uh, here's like, this is like my reading spot, so I have a little reading lamp, my Monet reading lamp. Uh, I keep all of my scarves and hats and gloves in this like magazine holder. I think I need to figure out a better way to store them because it's not that convenient. Also, it looks really messy. Uh, here's my little corner where my head is when I sleep. Here's a hat I made a while ago, some photos. Uh, my small toy ukulele, which actually still sounds pretty good for being a cheap little guy. Um, my drinking horn and some leather pouches. My foxtail, a Ditterod sign, posters, my camera that I never use. This was drawn for me by um, my, one of my favorite artists, uh, Sue Wee. I'll put a link to her page down below, but she drew Dusty and Jude and Raspy from my comic, and I just love, love, love this painting. It's so pretty. Unfortunately, it got damaged on the way here um, in transit, so it's a little wrinkled, but I still, I can fix the wrinkles. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Speaking of art, original art that I have around here. This was done by um, Prake. They are amazing. They are one of my favorite artists and I've commissioned them the most out of any other artist. Uh, this is, I think this, this was a trade we did. Uh, they drew my character Ro and oh, I just love the shapes and everything about it. Then I commissioned them to draw my other characters, Raspy and uh, Peaches from my comic, they're two of the main characters' dogs. <sighs> yeah, that's almost everything. Oh yeah, and another piece of art I have from my friend Annie from Bend, Oregon. She painted this of Ro for me, and then on the back, I had to hang it up because on the back is this awesome litho print from her, which is just beautiful. I love, love, love her art. Um, I'll put links to all of these artists down below. Uh, this is a little Norway pennant. Okay, this is my the poster I designed for our group show for science illustration. Our stuff is still being displayed at the university if you want to go see it. Um, 
I'll have to double check where exactly that is, but if you want to go see it, if you live in the Washington area, you can still see our art there. Um, just message me and I'll find out where exactly it is. Uh, here's some more Polaroids. Some random art prints that I've accumulated that probably don't need to stay in my life, but still do. Uh, yeah, so there's some junk. <laughs> Some just stuff I don't really use that I should probably get rid of. And my mirror and stuff. Yeah, I think that's everything. And then I have a poster ceiling. I used to have these all over my walls and I'm like, this doesn't look great. And I, But I also hated my ceiling. I have one of those popcorn ceilings. So I'm like, hey, let me just cover up as much as I can with that with my lovely posters. Yeah, it's very busy in here. Um, there's a lot of stuff, but I think I've done my best about it. Let's wake up the bird. Put my plants. I To use almost anything in my room, I have to like move something else out of the way. Yep, that's how I live. Hey, buddy. He's my bird. Oh, he's so cute. His name is Woodstock. I've had him since 11th grade. He's my buddy. He doesn't really like to be held, but he loves to be talked to, and he likes to... I have a little play top for his cage. He likes to come out and sing. He loves to sing, don't you, Woody? Yeah, he loves to sing. My dogs are outside. I'll show you my dogs. All right, here's the star of the show, Cho. Cho is the star of the show. And there's Kenny. They like to spend all of their time in here with me. when we're not running around doing stuff. And then I keep their beds under here. There's one for Kenny and one for Cho. These are like tiny beds, but they love them. <laughs> My dogs, they love like small spaces and cuddling up in them. Sometimes I'll find this guy underneath my bed. He can barely get out on his own when he does that, but he like loves just denning and like cuddling up somewhere. I sometimes find him like among my pillows. They're super funny. You're just super funny, aren't you? Oh my puppies, you're so good. Yeah, uh, the only unfortunate thing about having them in here is that their hair gets everywhere. Everywhere. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you friends have a great day and stay safe and stay creative. Um, I I wanted to do this video to like just show how I organize my stuff, and I don't know. Seeing these workspace videos always like really inspires me to clean my workspace and be more productive. So I hope this does the same for any of you. Thank you for watching. Joe, what you doing? What you doing? Oh no.